Hey, 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 Sparkle Chicks and Funky Junkers. I'm late, but better late than ever. Okay, I'm gonna pin my link tree comment here. There we go. Hello, Cynthia. I'm gonna pin that comment. All right, so guys, hello, Larissa. I just pinned my link tree comment to the comments. So you guys, that's all my links, diamond dust, liquid gold, all the things. So just go there and check it out. Hello, Melissa. All right, guys. So a little late night crafting tonight. Guys, crazy day today. Hello, Deborah. What's going on? Better late than never. I, I tried to get on here earlier, but I just had kids to run around. Hello, Tammy and Anne. Oh, wait a minute. Who wants to do magic mirror? Welcome, welcome, sparkle chicks and friends. Royal funky junk peeps. The fun never ends. Glitter diamond dust. Don't forget bling. We put a sparkle on just about everything. Now let me see who's sparkling with me today. I see Vicky and Martina and Vonda and Shelly and Dewana and Anne. I see Deborah and Lynn and Melissa and Larissa. I see Debbie Stewart and Stella and Maria. Hello, hello, hello. You're in the magic mirror. Hello, Gabby. What's going on? Hello, Melissa. Again, number two today, Melissa. Hello, Tammy Littell. I did a live in my private group today, y'all. We announced winners. Somebody won this fabulous royal blue and gold crown stuffed pumpkin that I made in Royal Sparkle Chicks earlier this month. So we had a winner, winner. And there, hello, Marion and Donna and Mary, Marie and Kimberly. And then I had to run around and do all kinds of stuff. Hello, Gianna. What's going on, sister? Hello, Suzette. Hello, Kimberly. Hello, David. What's going on? Funky junks and sparkle dudes. Funky junkers and sparkle dudes. Anyway, guys, I wanted to come on here with y'all because I was at the Goodwill yesterday, as you know, and I got some stuff. And we're going to, like, play around with some of it because I got totally inspired. Hello, Mary Lee and Susan. So if you're new here, welcome. If you're new here, I'm just going to say this first because I've been getting so much oh, heat. We talk a lot. I chat. I read comments. Um, I try to read all of your comments. Facebook shows us what we want to see. Some of it, I don't see all comments. I do go back and watch the replay. If I see a question, I repeat myself a lot because some of y'all might jump in halfway through, ask me what I'm doing, I'm going to tell you. Hello, Debbie and Lori. And yes, I say hi to my peeps as they come on. If you don't like it, you are free to keep scrolling. If you're watching a replay, if you don't see this live button up here, that means you're not live. So you are free to fast forward through all the chick chat because we do that here. We are friends. Hello, Jerrica and Charlene and Sheila. We are friends. I get a little sidetracked sometimes. I have menopause fog brain. It's all good. So if you don't like it, just keep scrolling. You don't need to stop and leave me a comment. I don't care. <laughs> Not being crabby or mean. I'm just saying, I don't care. So just keep on scrolling or hit that fast forward button. <laughs> exactly, Debbie. You know what? It just is what it is. We're like friends here. We're family. I think about you all. And yes, I have 100,000 followers under my belt. But let me tell you, I know a lot of your names and we all talk and we all like to chat and we're friends. Um, hello, Tina and Jody. Hello, y'all. So that's out of the way. First time we're in from Barb from Nebraska. Give some hearts to Barb, y'all. Um, Debbie, you know you're allowed to post in the sparkle room. Maybe it was just an accident. Sometimes it gets a little sketchy because these little things come up as we approve. The only thing we don't allow in the sparkle room is sh live videos. So um, just re resend it. It probably was just an accident. Um, haters gonna hate. And you know what? That Toby, what's it? There's a Toby Keith song, I think. I want to talk about me. I want to talk about I. <laughs> so we're going to talk about I. I don't care if you don't like it. <laughs> Hello, Michelle. Uh, Beth, we have like six inches of snow. Yes, we have snow. I'm in Ohio. Don is from Camden, Ohio. I'm near Cleveland. Thank you, Marjorie, for sparkling. My table's getting cleared out as I'm decorating for Christmas. I almost said Halloween. Sandy, I was at the Goodwill last night and uh, yesterday, and I picked up this cool but butcher block. We're going to revamp it Christmas style because I have this exact same butcher block in my kitchen. So I'm going to change out um, my... To reconnect, I'm going to have to boot my husband off the Wi-Fi. Hold on, y'all. It just is what it is. Um, that's what happens in a house with crappy Wi-Fi. Can you get off the Wi-Fi, please? 
Okay. Hopefully it'll work. Let them move on. I make no apologies. It is what it is. Um, I might even want to tell my son, too, to get off the Wi-Fi. Guys, this is like real life here. Today in my private group, how many of you are my royals in here that were watching earlier today? The nonsense that went on. <laughs> so stinking funny. Can you please shut your Wi-Fi off? Um, seriously, it was hilarious. Um, I was live in my uh, private group today doing a craft and a little... Um, uh, announcing winners and um I decided to give them a house tour because I had to go downstairs to my computer so they, they got a little house tour before y'all I'm sorry um and oh I was gonna say crappy wifi and crappy wifi wifey and I was like who is that Melinda I read it wrong <laughs> crafty wifey yes <laughs> okay um and then I showed them what I want to do in my room next to here um, above my garage. Oh my word. I was stuck in the dark. I got trapped in my closet. It was totally dark. It was hilarious. They were all loving it. Um, so yeah, they got a little sneak peek of what I want my craft room to be like. And Melissa, oh my God, it was so funny. And then they got to see my, my ugly laundry room and what we're going to do in there when they start revamping it, uh, at the beginning of the year. So, um, you said, I did say, please. I always say, please. I was raised with manners. I believe... Long, I don't know why they can't just, oh, Deli, Deliana, Delina, I hope I'm saying your name right. Um, exactly. It's like, go away. We don't want you here. Everybody take a sip. I'm too happy. I'm pouring a glass of wine when I came up here. The doggy is not getting out. He's been mean to Gus lately. So, um, he's, he's up here with me. Gus, um, he's been like going after Gus lately. I don't know why. So you got to really stay on him. So Carly just got home. Gus is running around. Hello, Allison. Allison, I give you a big plug today. Somebody was asking about my logo. Allison Monell right there. She's amazing. She has Allie's Studio here on Facebook. Go check her out. She does amazing graphic art, artwork. And she made my logo. Oh, I feel like I've been talking too much. <laughs> anyway, hello, y'all. We got all kinds of people on here. Hello, Doris. So to add glitter to a vintage coloring book page. Um, I think, Tammy, I think any glitter, to add glitter to anything or diamond dust, my favorite is Mod Podge. I think it holds really well. Um, I have little fallout with diamond dust. I'm sure it's the same with glitter, but I don't use glitter all that much. Um, Bobby, he, he wants out because he hears commotion downstairs, but he's been mean lately to Gus, so he's not getting out. Um, got able to answer exactly Joanne you know what and I'm sorry some people even get mad at me because I don't see every single comment I can't say how fast they go I can pick them out but when you guys all get on here and start coming sometimes they scroll pretty 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 quickly oh we have somebody from Italy welcome uh, Dana we're gonna be um we're gonna make over this we're gonna use some so my friend Catherine Salvage has digital deco designs Catherine if you're on here drop your link hello Jen Vidmar um Vicky the Crown. Oh, you have to join my group to figure out all that. No, we made that. No, seriously. I got that at the at-home store. Um, oh, Mandy. Yes, we're all loving our vino here. Um, he is. He wants out because he hears commotion and he smells food. Tony was down there cooking, but too bad. Um, he can stay here. Anyhow, we're doing this butcher block I picked up at the Goodwill yesterday. <laughs> Thank you, Lori. And we're going to use some decoupage queen papers on it. And we're going to use this decoupage queen paper on the front. We're going to use this decoupage queen paper on the sides. And we are going to, um, this is my friend Catherine Salvage from Digital Deco Designs. She sells um, her custom artwork. She, you can buy the digital download or you can buy her rice paper. She's a sweetheart. She's just getting new here on um, uh, Facebook. I'm trying to, you know, give her a little bit of coaching here and there. She's just so sweet. So it's Digital Deco Designs, and she made this adorable Santa. So I want to put him right here on the back side of this, and I'm going to put this in my kitchen for the holidays. But you guys, I find these all the time. I have another one on the floor down here. I find these all the time at the Goodwill. So 
you can definitely refab these into any any way you want. You can paint these. Hello, Tanya, welcome. You can paint these with checks. I know Debbie Rig over at Studio MDAZ has done amazing uh, butcher blocks with napkins, blue toile. It's it's beautiful. So I'm sure we'll be doing um, many of these. And um, the crown on the pumpkin came from at home store. So that's what we made in my private group last month. And that was, somebody won that today. We give away stuff at Royal Sparkle Chicks. And guys, I'm just going to give myself a plug. Royal Sparkle Chicks, my private group, doors will be closing January 1st. And I will not be opening them again until probably April. Yeah. Um, I'm going to start doing uh, closed doors on my private group. It just, it gets, um, I don't have a team behind me. I, it's just me. So it gets a little Harry scary trying to keep up with it all so it's going to be a lot easier on me so I am taking advice from my coach and closing doors so that's what we're doing oh thank you Diane I think Jennifer Aniston is a beautiful woman woman I follow her on Instagram I love her I love friends and guys you know it's funny I was watching her on Instagram and she had a pivot shirt on that one of my favorite episodes from friends pivot pivot with the couch up the stairs I just ordered a shirt that she was wearing that says pivot. So I'll let you, I'll be wearing it when I get it. Yes, I love decoupage queen. Hi, Cheryl. Yes, I get that all the time. So anyway, the first thing you want to do when you're going to decoupage uh, anything, especially with these decoupage queen papers or the digital deco papers, you need to paint your surface a light color or it will just blend right in. So we're going to paint all of this white. We all can chat. While I am looking down and I am crafting, you guys hit, I know a lot of you have followed me for a long time. Um, uh, Lorraine, you can go to my website, which it's pinned in the video description, linked in the video description, royalfunkyjunk.net, and go to the, under the main menu, there is something called um, uh, VIP group. You want to follow that, do the payment processing, and then the group on Facebook is called Royal Sparkle Chicks. After you do your payment, you go to the Royal Sparkle Chicks, request... Um, Request access, and when I um, when I um, verify payment, you're in. And tomorrow, guys, this is no joke. We have such a great lineup. I have guest speakers every week in my private group. Tomorrow, we have Justin from the Crafty Brother coming into my private group. I'm so exciting. Shauna, closing doors to my private group. So I'm only going to be opening the doors. You're only going to be able to uh, join like four times a year. Right now it's open. You can join whenever and I let you in, pay, and you and it's $20 a month, but I'm closing the doors, so it's only going to be every few months that I'm going to open doors and let you come in. So thank you, Rula. Uh, Jessica, you guys all crack me up. Do I look like Jennifer Aniston today more than any other day? I had my hair down, but I was I put up my tree today, guys. It's so stinking pretty. I love it. Um, so I put my hair up because it was getting in my way. Um yeah, probably not until April. So, um, oh, I love that. Lori, Lori, drop your link in here too. Lori has a page on Facebook. Um, I'm all about helping, empowering other women. So Lori, drop your link. You guys are free to go check out other crafters. Maybe you'll find somebody you love too. Hello, Shonda. I love Justin. Yes, I'm so excited he's coming into the group tomorrow. Have you found a life-size Santa? I wish, Tina. My husband is my life-size Santa. Um... But yes, as I said, if I'm looking down, I'm missing comments. I can't. I don't have eyes on the top of my head. If my my oldies but goodies sparkle chicks are on here and somebody asks a question and you know the answer to it, you are free to drop the answer and help a girl out. Um, so I appreciate it. Uh, Becky, we have about 200 and... 240 people in my private group. So it's very small. It's very intimate. We're all like BFFs. We have decorating and DIY challenges in there every month. And you you put your decorating and DIY in, into a certain post that I have every month. We have a monthly schedule. I just released it today. Um, no, Sharon, I'm not getting off until April. No, just my private group. I'm closing the doors. You won't be able to join my private group. Um, the doors will be open until April, until January 1st. Just my private group. Um, you'll have to go on a waiting list to, to get inside the private group um, after January 1st. Not here. Are you kidding me? No, I couldn't go that long without y'all. My Lord. I love Justin, too. Hello, Peggy. All right. Rocky, get over here. Go lay down. Knock it off. Lay down. Nobody wants to hear your nonsense. 
exactly designed and you can't answer all of them. So, um, I'm so, thank you, Mary. Yes. I love that you love that. And I know the majority of my, my people do, my chicks love that. So to heck with all the rest of them. Oh, wait till you see my tree, Claudia. It looks so pretty. I finished it today. Rocky Balboa, get over here and lay down. Lay down. It's being annoying now. Um, yes, this was a Goodwill purchase from yesterday. It is a great, it's a great VIP group, group and it's just amazing. We have, what? Rocky wants to say hi, everyone. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, he heard somebody at the door. Forget that. I'm not important in either, <laughs> according to the dog. All right. So we're going to get ready. Um, God knows how much hate mail I'm going to get ready for this one. And my mouth, where my so you take Oh, Vicky, I know it, girl. Um, I just had, I, we made tacos for dinner. I should be sipping on a margarita, right? Um, but it was tacos and wine. Uh, Rocky will not sleep on a bed. He either sleeps on my bed, our actual bed, and then when we go to bed at night, um, Mike will get into bed, we'll shut the lights off, and he'll say, Rocky, go night night. Go night night. And Rocky will jump off the bed. True story. He will jump off the bed. And he sleeps in the closet, in our closet. True story. I don't know why he likes the closet, but he does. Hi, Marianne. Hi, Sandy. Oh, he's just, you know, he's a needy dog, but he's so funny. I have to get this on a story. You guys got to follow my stories. Last night, we're laying in bed, and um, Rocky, like, Rocky's between, I'm sitting at Mike's feet, rubbing Mike's feet, and we're talking. We're just having a conversation. And, um, and, uh, Rocky is laying between us, and he's got his hand, his paw in my hand, and I'm rubbing Mike's foot. So he's watching my hand rub Mike's foot, and you can tell he's like, Mom. And he's like, err, err, So Mike puts one finger on Rocky's ear and just does this. And Rocky gets quiet. So then you stop and Rocky starts whining again. And then Michael just does this and Rocky stops. It was so funny. I mean, he's such a needy dog. Yeah. Yeah, you're a dog lover like me, Marianne. Yeah, we have three dogs. Hello, Angel. All right, so this is uh, just a, a butcher block. I get these. I see these all the time at the Goodwill, y'all. And Rocky is a, I saw somebody ask, Rocky is a, Bernie's Mountain Dog Husky Mix. So we're going to grab a brush. I think this will do. And I'm not even going to pour my paint, y'all. I'm just going to, I'm just going to um, paint. And so again, y'all, when I'm painting and I can't answer, feel free to answer any questions my new sparkle chicks on here might have, because we're all about sharing on here. I'm all about sharing. And I think this is even going to have a little bit of bling, everybody. I was playing around with some bling trim that I picked up at Hobby Lobby that I used um, on my last, uh, the mailbox, the mailbox that I did. And I don't even know if Big Daddy's on here or not. Um, Carlina Gussie says hi. There's Gussie. Carly, he was not feeling good today. He threw up like four times, so you might want to watch him. I was decorating the tree and he was running around and I heard that, you know what, they should make alarm clocks that sound like dogs puking because there is nothing that will make you move faster than hearing a dog throw up. I went and I picked him up, I put him in his little box on the plastic mat we have in there and I moved everything out and I and he threw up all over it and then before I could go grab a paper towel to pick it up, he eats it. I was like... Gus, that's gross. Uh, uh, Rocky was born in 2016. He just turned five in July. His birthday um, is July 5th. He will be, oh my God, he'll be 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. He's going to be six. I had to count that on my fingers, y'all. He's 26. Oh, Renee, I think you need to go to the pound and get a new puppy. A new, I don't know. Guys, after Gus, I swear to God, I don't know if I will ever have another puppy. I'm not going to lie. 
he makes me want to pull rip my hair out sometimes he's adorable he's like my buddy I had him out this morning and he just lays at my feet or he sits up in my lap while I'm working on the computer he's so cute and they all love ready whip I got him addicted to ready whip on that Oh, Kelly, I'm so glad. You never know. You know what? Sometimes knife blocks, I mean, I'm not going to lie, everyone. They're kind of ugly. I mean, I'm, <laughs> you guys have heard me say this a million times. I am not a minimalist. I like things busy looking and pretty, and I want to look at something. If I walked into somebody's house and they had this knife block all decorated, I'd be like, oh, my God, that is so cool. But if I saw a regular knife block sitting on their counter, I'd be like, all right, it's a knife block. So I like out of the ordinary things. That's what you will find here at Royal Funky Junk. But like I said, when you're gonna decoupage anything, this is decoupage queen paper and digital deco designs. If somebody knows Catherine Salvage, text her and tell her I'm on. She'd probably be so excited that I'm plugging her away. Uh, this is, oh, I'm sorry. This is um, folk art. Um, I don't flip my camera. I'm sorry, guys. Matte acrylic paint. I get this at Hobby Lobby. So, um, all right. So I got the first coat on. I'm going to hit this with the dryer. It's acrylic chalk. Well, it's acrylic matte acrylic paint. It's not chalk paint. Puppies are a lot of work, Susan. Yes, they are. So, but it kind of works like chalk paint, I guess, a little bit. Have you ever gotten Rocky a pup chino? Oh my gosh, yes. Taylor brings those home for the dogs all the time. She has all his. Um, well, Diane, I don't have all my videos at royalfunkyjunk.net. Lots of them there. That's my blog. Most of my videos are here on Facebook. Go to watch or go to Royal Funky Junk uh, in Facebook search and then click the videos tab and I list all my videos. Sorry, Rosemary. It's so hard when your puppies are sick. This is going to require two coats. I can tell this by looking at it. Um, just making sure it dries. This is not the enamel paint, so it's not shiny. This is, um, uh, this is, uh, this is matte. It's like a chalk paint. It's going to dry real matte, which is fine. Just want to make sure all this is dry before I slap on another coat because I don't want it to peel up my paint. It's so cool how you can watch the paint dry when you're drying it. This is a heat gun. Um, it's just sometimes it's kind of hard to see with the glare if it's drying or not. The top, I was able to see it. it. Sounds a little funny, though. Just gonna make sure it's nice and dry before I put the second coat on. All right, I think we're good to go on that. I have people texting me. Okay, drinking your Starbucks. That's so. Hi, April. Hi, Lisa. Um, Peggy Dean, Tina tried to let you know I saw your cup, but it wants me to report you every single time. Oh, that's so funny. Sometimes it does it. You gotta like make sure you click on their name, not their comment. Yeah. Um, hello, Joanne. Welcome. First time catching me live. That is awesome. That's always exciting, isn't it? Rocky. Oh, Claudia, you did gift her diamond dust. Oh my God, you'll love it. My eyes are itchy. Um. Yes, Debbie, for sure. I have like, I have this, but it's just got like, I'm just, it's not the same thing. It's a knife block, but I'm definitely going to be just sticking my knives in there. My scissors go here. I'm just going to make it work. Rocky. No. Because you know what will happen? I'll let him out and like five minutes later, he's going to come right back in. He's going to want back in. I know how this dog works. Hi, Sherry. All right. So we're going to go ahead and do a coat too. We are revamping a butcher block. I saw the fabulous Debbie rig at Studio MDAZ make one of these quite a few months ago. 
with blue twill napkins. And I was like, oh my gosh, I love that. And, um, and I was like, I need to make one myself. She did hers in, uh, of course, she is the Mackenzie Childs um, checking queen. So she did hers in check with the blue twill. It came out so stinking pretty. But this one is going to be for Christmas. So this will go downstairs um, after Christmas is over with my Christmas decor. But I thought, how cute would it be for Christmas, at Christmas, just to have a butcher block that's strictly for the Christmas season? And like I said, guys, I get these all the time. I not get these. I have two in my stock right now. I see these all the time at the Goodwill. Um, so when you get them, and literally they're like a couple bucks, just grab them. You can have one for every season. Easter, you know, you can have one just about every holiday. Valentine's Day. We should just do one for every season. That and a rolling pin. I picked up another rolling pin yesterday at the Goodwill. And tomorrow, I think Taylor and I might be going to the Goodwill. I said to her, what are you doing tomorrow? She's like, nothing. I'm like, let's go shopping. I got so much inspiration. I was, I felt like I was in a writer's block um, the last few weeks because I haven't been shopping at the Goodwill, even though my whole room is a shopping fanatic. It's like a Goodwill. So I was like, let's go. I didn't find any silver yesterday, which I, I found one thing, but it really wasn't my favorite thing. I would like to find some more silver trays. I'm not really worried about, I'm not worried about like the slots where the knives go because um, we're going to fill those out. The knives will go right through there. And um, I'm not worried about like painting the inside of those down there. Paint gets down in there. I'm not sweating it too bad. All right, so two coats on, it looks good. I don't see any of the wood tone underneath, which is what I wanted because when you put uh, rice paper or decoupage, anything on top of that, you want white paint underneath it. Oh, your brother just got you one? Charlene, I found a really cute shirt I think I'm gonna wear on Christmas Eve. We're hosting Christmas Eve this year at my house with Mike's family. Um, so I think I'm going to, uh, wear it and it's really super sparkly it's on the live from yesterday to be able to see it all right so i just want to make sure this is really really super dry now once i get all the paper on here i don't really know we might do some glue dots we might do some sparkle trim i don't know we are live rula Oh, you got it, Tina? Oh, Peggy, yeah, you can't hit, um, yes, if you see a red live button right here in the corner, I am live. If you are not seeing that red button, um, if you see a gray button, you're live, you're just behind. Hi, Catherine Wood, how are you? Yes, prayers for Chris Hunter, she's not feeling too well right now. I talked to her earlier today. She's like my soul sister, Chris Hunter. We're like two peas in a sparkle pod. She really means a lot to me. She's amazing. I, I couldn't do, we couldn't do those events without the other. She's, uh, I love her dealer dearly. So hoping she feels better soon. I know she was not under the weather. All right, so I got this all dry. So now the fun part, guys. Uh, she's just got a little, you know, she's just not uh, feeling a little under the weather. She's okay. She's going to be fine. She's, got, she's just feeling a little under the weather. Feeling a little under the weather. All right, so see how we painted this? Doesn't it even look better now? You can just put... You could slap a would you bend mold on here and call it the day. Um, but we're going to give it a little bit of something. So this is the paper from digital. Somebody type this out. Digital, digital, D-I-G-I-T-A-L, deco, D-E-C-O, designs.com. 
www.digitaldecodesigns.com. This is my friend Catherine Savage. She does these cute little graphics. She's like a graphic artist. She plays around. She makes beautiful little prints. And she was uh, she offers digital downloads, or you can get them on really nice rice paper. So, um, hold on, I'm letting the dumb dog out because I can't take it anymore. Get out of here. Get. What Rocky fails to recognize is that Gus is in Carly's room across the hall. Oh, Elizabeth, good luck with that. <laughs> Um, no, it's going to be used for nice, Karen, or you can actually use this. Um, I saw somebody on Pinterest take this and they notched out the slots a little bit with a drill and, um, they had all their paintbrushes sticking out of it, like millions of paintbrushes sticking out of those slots. It was amazing. Digital Deco Design. Yes, Lynn. DigitalDecoDesigns.com. Yes, Kathy. Thank you. All one word though. DigitalDecoDesigns.com. Um, hello, Mara. Mara. I always want to say Mara. Um, yes, I love digital deco design. Just make sure if you're doing the, if you click on the link that Denise put, it's going to be digitaldecodesigns.com or some, I don't know. Let's just, just Facebook digital deco. It should come right up. Her name is Catherine. There we go, Ashley. There's, I think we have somebody. That, does that work? Let me know. That looks like it's, yes. Um, She's such a sweetheart. Yes, Lori, you know her. Yes. And there's Lori, Nana's Homemade Treasures. You guys got to go follow her too. She's amazing. I'm all about women empowering women. That's what we like to do here. Um, so anyway, we're going to start this. I, I, I would love for Catherine to be on here, but I know she's got a young son. My son is at his friend's house and doing some homework. So I don't have to get him later. Well, actually, I'm probably going to send my older son to go get him. Yes, great, great to do with the brushes. That's okay, Lorraine. You guys are awesome. We get it. So the back piece here is what I want to put this whole graphic on. I'm going to get as much of that Santa in there as I can. Now, what I plan on doing, this is how easy it is to um, do this stuff. Let me put the lid back on my paint. Hello, Nancy. Welcome. First time catching me live. Hello, Trixie. Uh, Sherry, I have lots of tattoos. This one says... No matter what, I know it's backwards, but it says no matter what, S and J. Um, it's my kids' initials because I've always told them I love you no matter what. No matter what you're going to do, no matter where you're going to live, no matter who you love, no matter where you are, no matter what, I always love you. I've been telling them that since they were born. This is a chickadee because my dad's called me chick my whole life. And it's funny, I'm the sparkle chick. Um, this is my wedding date with Michael in Roman numerals. This is Michael's name on my wedding ring finger. This says Royal. This was the first tattoo I ever got for Royal Funky Junk. I have sparkles behind my ear. I have a tattoo on my back that matches one my son has. Um, Peggy, I do have a picture. Yes, from our wedding. I have a great picture. I'll have to post it. It's probably on the page somewhere, um, but I'll post it again. It's a great picture. Um, it hangs above my fireplace in my um, dining room. Hello, Robin. Um, and then I want to get a phoenix on my ankle. I was going to get a cream colored and burgundy uh, cancer ribbon in honor of my brother who is battling uh, head and neck cancer right now. So I'm going to do that somewhere. I don't know where. Um, and yeah, we're a tattoo loving family. <laughs> we have lots. I have lots. Hello, Linda. Hello, Carolyn. Hello, Jean. I'm having a great evening, Louise. Thank you. All right. So. I have not tried Posh Chalk Diamond Dust yet, Luann. I am a um, an affiliate for Would You Ben, and I do use their Posh Chalk. I love it. Um, I haven't used Diamond Dust yet, um, um, but I do love their gold paints and stuff. Uh, you want somebody to pin her site? All right, well, I'll pin it. Hello. I'll go back. I'll find it. You can just click on it, though, seriously. Um, there it is. Pin coming. All right, there you go. DigitalDecoDesigns.com. Michelle Lyons Hall. I just pinned it in the comments. There you go. Um, hello, Zelda. Uh, Tanya Rocky is a uh, Bernice Mountain Dog Husky mix. So I'm going to grab my Mod Podge, which all of a sudden I can't, I don't know where it went. I used it today in my private group. Here it is. 
Have another one, Kathy. Thank you, Peggy. Yes, I did, Deborah. He's doing good, Sandy. He's doing good. He's done with his treatments. He's home resting and recovering now. So we're just praying that, you know, it's a long recovery with that. So I'm just using Mod Podge, guys. Mod Podge is my um, medium of choice when I am doing any kind of um, decoupage. Guys, you want to hear a funny story? Do you know, I remember when I first started crafting, like I really knew nothing. I mean, I knew how to make little stuff that me and my mom made, but nothing like this. And I remember like wondering, what the heck is Mod Podge? I said it all wrong. I had no idea what it was. I'm like, well, I guess I'm just going to buy it and try it. <laughs> now it's like, my God, you can't live without Mod Podge. Gus is a uh, Pembroke Welsh Corgi, but I think he's got a little bit of Jack Russell mixed in there. He's definitely not full Corgi. He don't look like a full Corgi, but he's cute. All right, so you got your Mod Podge down? Um, oh my gosh, Twyla, Twyla, I'm so sorry. It's, it's been tough. It's, it's hard. It's hard to watch. I'm going to try to find the center, and I really want to make sure I get the majority of Santa is what I'm going for. Um, and you just kind of want to, I'm trying to keep it straight. I'm not really worried about what's top and what's bottom. Rice paper is so great to work with because it doesn't wrinkle like napkins. It doesn't pull through the paper like napkins. So... I'm just going to rub it on there. Look at no bubbles. I'm going to grab my sanding block before I go and seal this with another coat of Mod Podge. Um, I'm going to take a really coarse sanding block. Um, oh my God, Rhonda, I'm so sorry. Well, you know what? Um, and you want to work away from your image. So I'm just going away, like pulling down and ripping that right away from the block of wood. And that's why I like to use like the super, super coarse um, sanding blocks. Seriously, and look at that cut that you get. The rice paper is so forgiving, Melinda, you're right. You Well, Kathy, Kathy, you do need practice, but you know what? I didn't know what I was doing the first time I used this. I just, you gotta wing it sometimes. You just gotta try. Um, so you're just pulling away. You don't want to go into the image. You might scratch the image. Um, yeah, right, Michelle? I know. I love it too. I'm all about, you know, my mom, we grew up, my mom always decorated like for every holiday. So I grew up, I decorate for like every holiday, Valentine's Day, Easter. I do it all. Oh, I know, Claudia, right? My mom is too cute. So what I'm going to do down here. And even if you scratch a little bit of paint, don't stress about it, y'all. It's just white paint. I can't even tell if that's white paint or paper, to be honest with you. And I kind of like that, you know, rustic-y look. But um, Catherine, if you're on here, great paper quality. She wanted me to try it out. Excellent. Looks fabulous. Seriously, how cute is that, y'all? We can tell you, it's the only thing you can do, man. You don't know, you don't know until you try. I'm big on that. You hear me say that all the time. You don't know until you try. Um, I just ordered some stuff from Mara. Mara, I'm so excited I got your email saying that my stuff ships. So Mara was one of our presenters in the Spark Room for the Christmas um, Sparkle Shop. And she is a, uh, what are you, Mara? You are like, um, she deals with, what would that be called? I'm having a brain fart, y'all. IOD. Oh my gosh. I don't know anything that's IOD. I can't wait to get it. Um, I bought, I'm going to do some happy mail when I get that box, Mara. Mara, Mara. You know who I'm talking about. <laughs> Seriously, look at how stinking cute. You could leave it like that, but no, that doesn't work. That's not what Kathy does. Hi, Davida. Everybody take a sip. All right. Now the sides, I want to give it a little whimsy. This is Decoupage Queen. This is decoupagequeen.com. It's easy peasy, people. 
You get the sandpaper block. Yes, I love these things. I get the really coarse, and of course, I'm not going to lie, y'all. I bought like a whole box of these, and I have no idea where I put the rest of them. I really don't. I think I, I upset myself. I bought like a whole pack of them. And do you think I can find the other ones? Because this is actually ready to get changed out. Let me see if I can find them. Yeah, I have no idea where they are. I bought an entire box full of these things. And do you think I can remember where I put them all? No, not at all. I think my zipper is falling down. It kept falling down today. No, I can't remember where the heck I put a whole pack of these things. So I'm going to have to like scour my craft room tomorrow for them. I'm sure they're probably somewhere. I could use another one, but this still has some grit to it. It'll work. It's just looking a little shoddy. IOD Heidi is Iron Orchid Designs. They have amazing molds. They have, oh, I'm so excited. They have rub-on transfers. Oh, I know. Uh, Lori, I'm so excited. It, of course it did, Janet. I'm telling you, she does not. I know I can't wait to use IOD. So I'm really excited to get the um, rub-on transfers. Um, that's what I'm excited for. All right, so now we're going to move on to the next ones. Now, guys, I'm only, now I have two of these because this is a little wonky on the sides. Um, don't you love, that's a pumpkin, Elizabeth. That's a pumpkin I did in my private group. I'm definitely going to line up this flat edge on the bottom with one of these lines over here. I definitely want this to be a straight up and down look. So hello, Rima. Rima was one of our presenters in the sparkle room. Didn't we have so much fun over the weekend, Rima and Mara? Just a freaking blast. We, we really... What a great two days of crafting. I hope you guys all watched it. If you did not, you can go and watch all the presenters in the Sparkle Room. Just go to Facebook search. Search in Sparkle Room. It comes up. And all 27 presenters and their crafts are there for your viewing pleasure. You can take as long or as little as you want to watch it. If you missed the event, we did Santa's Sparkle Shop. I just posted... Um, today what I did all right now I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna do this up and down I could go with the curve being that this is slanted let me think about this for a minute y'all um, I think I want to keep it upright though I really do I don't want to go like this or do I do I want to do this do I want to do it this way? Probably. All right, so I'm just going to try to find that top line and try to do this. I'm even going to get this little, I want to try to get in that groove right there. So I'm just going to rub my pencil, get into my brush in there, smooth that down. And then we're gonna um, we're gonna block this out. I use would you bend an IOD transfer on my oh I know the uh, the lemon IODs yes I think I ordered those I just don't remember but oh my word, um, I ordered the Christmas transfers I know that for a fact I'm so excited to get them because there's I watched her make her thing and I was like I need all of that in my life right now. Um, Luella they did they they were so amazing so again guys you're gonna press that all down. Um, and you're just going to sand that away on the edges. I did not even bother cutting my paper because I can save all of this to use it on a smaller project. Hello, Amy Garber. Oh, Rima, Bloomingdale's? I never, guys. I, can't, I don't think I've ever even been in a Bloomingdale's before. I don't even know where to look. Um... I go to the Goodwill to look for uh, Mackenzie Child, but I did get the Mackenzie Child uh, catalog in the mail recently, and oh my word, they had the cues. Rima, was it all the new stuff? I bet you it was. Teresa, what's the name of whose page? Everybody just drop your page in here. Everybody can go find it. Guys, uh, oh no, I won't. Want, okay, so I don't want to do that. I don't want to peel my original Santa paper back, so be 
careful. Don't be like Kathy and just roughing it. Kind of be careful. Maybe I'll just work back and forth until that comes off. I don't want to peel that off. Uh, Carrie, I made a bunch of these over this over the uh, fall season. I got there were um, paper mache pumpkins that I picked up at Hobby Lobby, and then I have a ton of videos on them. Um, hi, Gail. I do find Mackenzie Childs a good. I, there's yes, you can definitely find Mackenzie Childs. People don't know. There are so many people out there, y'all, that don't know what Mackenzie Childs is. You can't really blame them, you know. So I'm just pulling this off. Oh my gosh, wait till you see how cute this is. I always look at the catalog. Um, I don't know if I'll have enough, but I made sure I had two. And this has a bit of a curve to it, so I'm going to follow that curve. Um, I will check, but I want to make sure it's, oh my gosh, oh, this is so cute. Look at, seriously, I can't stand it. This is the stuff that makes me like giddy. I, I, I didn't even picture it this cute in my head, literally. So, um, I don't think I do. Wait a minute, I do, but I have to make sure it's the right size. So I went on an angle like this. So I want to make sure I have enough here. Would you look at that? I do. Okay, I do. I just got to get it totally right. Okay. Oh my gosh, guys. I love this. Okay. It's better than Mackenzie Childs, y'all. It's royal funky junk stuff. Any day. I mean, they're great inspiration. Don't get me wrong. Those clochets, yes, I'm saying cloche. Y'all say cloche, whatever the heck it is. I don't like it. I like saying cloche. Those clochets that I made, OMG, those were totally me looking at a Mackenzie Childs catalog and being totally inspired by them. That's it. And that's all, folks. Um, and so, yes, I go to those things for inspiration. I go to Pinterest for inspiration. But the Mackenzie Childs catalog, can I tell you how excited when I... I get when I look at those in the mail and I'm not gonna lie they're all in my kitchen in my little office right now because that's where I, I do my paperwork and stuff is my kitchen and they're all right there I have them all every single Mackenzie Childs for like the last two years and I just pull them out every once in a while and I look at them all right so I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna try to find that top line and yes guys I have to stand up because I want to make sure that I get I want to make sure it's even I'm going to rub my finger right there in that little groove and take my brush end and just kind of work that in. And I'm going to be very careful, you know, because this hasn't been um, sanded yet. So I've got this, I've got it on this rough. I've um, got it on that rough. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to grab this soft paper. I just want to put it on there because I don't want it to get all scratched up. Uh, Stephanie, these are from decoupagequeen.com. And I need my sanding block. I'm getting my brush everywhere. I can't wait to see this finished either. Butcher block. I don't, what is it called? I call it a, how digital deco design is in the house. Catherine and everybody tagging you. I'm using your paper. Uh, uh, it, what's a butcher block, y'all? I don't know. I always called these butcher blocks. I don't know. Butcher block. All right. And I'm just, just doing that works on that. I just don't want to. Look at my shirt. I got fuzz everywhere. Catherine, the rice paper. Can look at the back of it, sugar. I can tell you what the other one says, so you know which one. Um, but all right, now this because this is the paper over here. I'm just gonna rub it this way. I don't want to mess up the Santa paper underneath, so I'm just going to kind of. I don't want to peel up that Santa paper underneath, so I'm just gonna scuff it. Comes right off.
like so. I'm going to tear that and do the bottom. Okay. And then this right here. This has got the little lip right there. So you're just going to tear that. And I'm just going to use that short end right there. And then get right in that corner and sand that off. shirt it's all full of lint Teresa I order IOD from um, Mara at vintage retail Th vintage retail therapy by Mara she was in our um, event on Saturday <gasps> look it how cute oh my god guys is this not like so charming I stink and love it look at how cute Hello, Cherie. Yes, look at how cute you guys. And seriously, you find these at the Goodwill all the time. You can have one for every season. Look at this is definitely this is going. Yes, right. Um, do you hear my dog out there? It's ridiculousness. Yes, vintage retail therapy for IOD. Um, I am a um, an affiliate for um, um, Would You Ben, which carries the posh chalk. And I know Mara carries some of that too, but guys, it's my affiliate with Would You Bend. But IOD, I think, I, I, I can't, I, I would love, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm going to try. I have never used IOD before, so I can't wait. All right, let's keep moving. We're going to craft Vino. What better way to spend your Wednesday, right? Chrissy, it's the high glass that goes over a cake plate. Yes, a cloche. I call it a, a, a glass dome. I call it a cloche. C L C L O C. Do you hear him? Do you hear him now? He wants back in. He's painting my hole. Come on in. I swear to God, this dog makes me crack crazy. All right, so. I have not sealed it yet. You guys don't want to do that yet. Now, I'm taking this paper. This is also from the Decoupage Queen. And I'm just going to wing it. And all I want to do, see it's kind of going to bring out those colors over here. And I'm just going to, I think I'm going to pick like this middle part because it's kind of got the same tone. And all I'm going to do is bring it straight down this front side. And I'm just going to kind of tweak it as we go. And then I'll have to kind of like work a knife into there. Um, so I think it'll work just fine. But we don't know till we try. And again, I threw my brush in the water because I don't know why I wasn't done using it. Um, you, know, you wonder why I like go through so many uh, brushes. All right, so I am just Mod Podging this. Same kind of technique. I was thinking about... I am going to add some bling on here, though, guys. Come on. My kitchen wouldn't be complete without a little bit of bling. And I'm going to do down here. I'm even going to do underside here. I'm going to get it all the way. All these little knife slits. And you can just really... Or we can put, you know, you can put anything in here. Paint brushes. This could just be a cute decoration in your house, in your kitchen. And, you know, scissors and whatnot. Um, so I got that. You want the Mod Podge to be a little tacky when you apply that. I'm not worried about, like I said, I'm not worried about going down into this little. And I'm just going to take the paper and I'm going to line it up to the best of my ability to keep it straight. And I'm just going to work it down work it down into into that space there and this is why I love the rice paper it's it's just so stinking easy to conform you don't have to worry about it ripping it doesn't bubble it's got a little heavier consistency than a napkin all right now I'm gonna get my 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 sanding block I need to get an affiliate for paint paintbrush. I know, right? 
I know, Louise, right? I mean, it has damn wings. I mean, you guys haven't called, I don't, I'm not called the sparkle chick for nothing. Again, be careful when you're brushing down into another one. I'm just going to kind of go across. I don't want to scuff that up. We still have to seal all that in. Um, I don't even know if my husband's on. Big Daddy, are you watching right now? Usually he watches my live. Sometimes he's a secret stalker. Oh my gosh, guys, this is going to be really stinking cute. This is actually better than what I was envisioning in my head. An emery board? <laughs> Come on, y'all. I got like 9 million of them up here. Yes, you can even use an emery board for something smaller. Mine's a little worn. Need to get some new ones. Um, all right, so I don't want to do a cross because we're keeping that. That would be horrible if I actually went the wrong way. You just want to go on the outside edge because we want to keep all that middle part. And see, we can we can glue that back down. Some some of it comes up. Um, so it's got a little lip here. Okay, same thing here, all the way up. And then we're going to go across there and then just the same thing on the other side so you're not going to go across the pattern we're just going to go a little bit up and down. see guys wasn't this project so so worth the chick chat in the beginning um where can i order rice papers from bobby this is decoupage queen in the side. The Santa is from Digital Deco Designs. Digital Deco Designs is pinned right here in the comments. And then decoupagequeen.com. It's easy to remember, y'all. Decoupagequeen.com is where I get um, the other ones, the uh, the checks. Now, you could, you could paint checks on here like the Fabulous Debbie Rig did. I did not. I went with the whole decoupage queen. Alright. Let's see what that looks like. You guys ready for reveal? <gasps> I can't even pick it up. Good night, Joanne. Sweet dreams, my sunshine. Right? Seriously, guys, look at Oh my god! It like flows all around. Now when you're done with your decoupaging. Right, Patty, it's just like we're all here. Like it's like FaceTiming with your best friends. I stinking love this. This is going in my kitchen. So see now it's starting to peel. So now it's because we were sanding. Now is when you want to seal it. Okay, so this is lifting up a little bit here. All you do is take your brush. Make sure that that's all underneath. You want to put some Mod Podge. Anywhere that's underneath. And then we're going to go ahead and give it a coat all over with the Mod Podge because that's going to seal it in. I probably will give it a coat of, um, what's that called? You can spray seal this with some uh, Mod Podge sealer. You can, if you wanted a glossy look, go over it with some, um, what's that stuff called? Uh, the Triple Thick Duraclear Mix. On my on my brush, you don't. What is going on? There's like junk all over my brush. It's like must be from my desk because I need to vacuum up here. Um. Yes. Can you guys see? I'm sorry. There's more crud. There must be something in my brush. I'm gonna have to grab another brush. This keeps doing it. So I'm just going, I'm putting a layer of Mod Podge. The Mod Podge is going to look a little, um, you know, it's going to look a little cloudy at first. It's okay. It's going to dry. I can show you some coasters I did today for a, a contest we had in my private group. And they, they look fine. Totally perfect. But this Mod Podge is going to seal all that paper down and just keep it nice and neat. Now I'm going to do the back here. You just don't want to overwork 
your you don't want to overwork your image especially if it's rice paper it's fibrous guys so um, you don't want to just you know you kind of want to get your Mod Podge on and be done with it and move on to the next section you don't want to you know it'll, it can you don't want to mess with the uh, graphic and that Mod Podge, like I said, it, it will dry. Now, I will not diamond dust this because this is going to go in my kitchen. Um, it's going to be near food. I really don't put anything diamond dusted in my kitchen. I have one little shelf sitter sign next to my coffee machine that's diamond dusted, but we don't really prepare food over there. Um, so I'm going to do this side. I'm going to pick it up over here because I haven't done that already so I can kind of lift this up a little bit and get this edge and I want to get this all on here so I don't and that paper is fibrous so you want to just get this all sealed down with the Mod Podge before you start doing anything else you could also do this before you sand the paper off I don't like to I think I have a harder time sanding the paper once the Mod Podge goes on or the sealer it kind of makes it stiffer and it doesn't come off as nice as it does as when it's no sealer. And now I'm going to come on and I'm going to do this top side. Oh, <laughs> Doris, lots of practice, girlfriend, lots of practice. You all wonder, what the heck is she doing? And then you're like, oh, bam, she did it. Trust me. And I'll be the first one to say, there are some projects I've made um, where I'm like, oh, I suck. But you know what? Uh, some some projects aren't for everybody. Some some are. It just you know everybody. We all have our own flavor. I guess is what I should say. We all have our own likes and dislikes. Some people may not like Mackenzie Child. Some people may not like Bling. There's a lot of people on here, and that's okay. You can still be a Sparkle Chick and not like Sparkle. I'm just you know I'm just sharing, inspiring you. What I love, you guys can tweak it however you like. Maybe you like glitter instead of diamond dust. That's totally up to you. It's kind of weird. We don't want that on there. All right, so I got this whole thing dry. Now, before I cut out those holes, I'm going to go ahead and hit this with my heat real quick. With the wax feel to it, we'll take all dust off your 24 mod. Oh, that's a good idea, too. So I'm just going to try this with my heat gun. Exactly, Mimi. We all have our own gifts. Just chill. Well, you guys, all kinds of people on here, and I know I'm not seeing all 936 of you. Mm -hmm. That's okay. You can you can be secret watchers. I love you all anyway. It is Gloria. Although you can't see it now because I'm drying it, but I am going to cut those out. Thank you, Doris. Crystal, I turned you into a sparkle queen. I love it. Okay, so Cindy, when I diamond dust, I put like a medium coat of Mod Podge on. I, I don't keep it super thin. I don't keep it really puddly. I just make it a nice, even coat. And I lay on heavy diamond dust. I'm a heavy diamond duster. Um, it's just my thing. Now, if you're using a heat gun to dry your Mod Podge, don't get it super close. It will bubble your paper. Kind of hold it back. You know, just let the heat, you don't want to put it right on top. It will bubble that paper and that glue. So I learned the hard way, take it from me. Um, just hold it, you know, it still gets pretty hot even from up here. I'm not trying to dry it all the way. I just want it soft to the touch. Um, Even though it, it's still like a little, you know, cloudy, all but the plate with the floor. And you know what, guys? It's right there. I love that thing. I watch that video all the time, and I'm like, why does everybody hate it? I get, I just laugh at it now. I get like, you know, 14 million views I've had, 19 million views I think I've had on that tray, and for the majority of people, hate it. Hi, Mary. Are you used to watching replays? Well, welcome. I'm usually not on this late, sister, so... Um, Michelle, go to the Goodwill tomorrow, y'all. I bet you one of your Goodwills has this. I bet you, bet you, bet you they do. 
I just want this like dry enough to where I tack these holes through here. Um, yes, Marjorie, diamond dust is like fine crushed up glass. Hey, cats here, I love old vintage trays. Hello, Karen. Hi, Jennifer. Welcome. First time watching there. Throw some hearts, y'all. We're all friends here. You know what? And I love Justin from the Crafty Brother because he was saying this the other day when I was watching a replay of his. I always watch my other crafters on replay because um, I don't ever really get time to watch them live. Um, but he said, I don't have followers. I have friends. So you guys check me. I don't want to call you guys followers because you're not my followers. You're my friends. So I, I was like, oh my gosh, I love that. I should be saying that you're not my followers, you're my chicks, or my peeps, or, you know, we have 929 peeps on here. I don't want to say followers. Followers, like he said, Jesus had followers. I don't, I'm not worthy to carry that title, so thank you, Justin. What's the bottle in the back? Oh, that was something I got at Home Goods. It's for Halloween, and I forgot to put it out, so it's stuck up in my craft room. All right, so guys, this is pretty much dry. It's a little tacky here and there. Um, ow, I just burnt my damn arm. Oh, heck yes. You guys are going to love diamond dust. It's my favorite thing. Glue dots on your chest. I'm not going to do glue dots. I might do gold dots on there, but I think I'm going to cut these edges with some, you guessed it, antique gold rubbing buff. Do y'all and let's take a knife and let's cut here. Nothing is sacred in my craft room, y'all. I don't know where it went. Somebody took my somebody took my knife. Alright, let's just use a let's use one of these. All right, so I can see where these little divots are. So guys, this is seriously, I'm not gonna give this too much precision. It's gonna go the way it's gonna go. And you can just bust those out. It does not have to be perfect. And look it, you can get like a nail file, something that'll just tuck right back in there. And just keep that, look at that. Perfect. Oh, and I burnt my arm. That's going to be a scar. Um, I'm just going to slice this right in the middle. And then basically, you're just going to push the nail file or something to push. Um, ow, that burns, y'all. To push that down, if you have to, you could put some, you know, Mod Podge down in there to hold that paper up. But seriously, look at um, I am just taking that and slicing it and then taking something in there and like just kind of and there's already Mod Podge down in there and then I'll take some more I'll take like oh you'll see um, I'll take this little brush full of Mod Podge and we'll make sure that that's all glued down in there I just want that to be nice and neat I don't want anything uh, sticking up in the way. This one is bigger. And again, I'm just smoothing those down in there. And then I can go ahead and hit those with a little brush with some Mod Podge. This is like a square, so I could even play that out. This is a slit. And then this one down here too. I think these were all, weren't they? I think so. Oh gosh, guys, I, I don't even see these. Was this down here? Were those slits down there? I don't know if they, oh no, it wasn't. It was just these. I don't know why I was thinking for a minute that there was. 
see and I can see that there's Mod Podge in there. So you want to get a leave a little bit of that Mod Podge and just tuck that paper down in there. That's perfect. That Mod Podge will hold that. Oh, that was like a little bit of a bigger opening. You just want to make sure that's all glued down in there because as you pull your tools out from front to back, you're not going to be lifting any of that paper up. So see, you could just take some Mod Podge and kind of just touch those edges down in there. And the great thing about Mod Podge, what do you, my followers all know, it dries what? It dries clear. In the rounded part, there was slits. What rounded part? Oh, right here? Oh, you're right. All right, I'll get those in a second. Hold on. So I'm just going to go back through here. I thought there was slits somewhere else. I'm just making sure all this paper in these little slits are nice and tucked in there, sealed down with some Mod Podge. And guys, think about how great this would be. If you know anybody who's moving into a house near the holidays, how appropriate would this be to gift them with their very own? You can put some of these picture on here. How cute would that be? Like their wedding picture. Guys, there's so much you could do. Okay. So that will dry. See, I've just got that all done. Oh my gosh, guys, this is so adorable. Um, there were slits here. So how many slits? I don't I don't even know. There was one there. You just kind of have to feel them. Two. Three, four, six. All right, so same process here. I'm just going to take some Mod Podge and I'm just going to kind of like go in there with the Mod, little tiny brush, and just work that Mod Podge into those slits to really, and push it all the way up getting all down in that slit so those that paper sticks to that inside of that butcher that wood all the way up now this one went all the way up so that was a little bit bigger of a hole right there a pick of their new house yes angel you are live now if you see that red live button up in the corner you are live sister if you weren't live, that would not be there. It's a little trick of the trade for you. Yeah, I guess, I don't know why that one is bigger. I wonder if they're all that size and I'm just not cutting deep enough. That guys I wasn't cutting deep enough I thought that one went a little bit farther up so just make sure that you're all the way up with that paper and get that all tucked in there oh my word guys seriously look at it's your custom butcher block now to cover up these right here on the sides what I want to do put all my sharp tools away so I don't stab myself. I did burn my arm. Yeah, right here. You can see it. It's so bad with that. I've been able to wear jewelry for a week. I don't want to get cellulitis again because I burned my arm. All right, I'm going to rock. See, he went out again. He's cleaning my hole. All right, I'm going to hit this back in there. Make sure that's on. I hit that. And I glue them. So this is all nice and dry. Super fun. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my gold rope and buff. Um, I got. Thank you, Colleen. Um, I'm gonna squirt some of this anti gold rope and buff out on my paper, and I'm just gonna hit these lines right here, right intersected that. Um, um, 
we're going to dissect the two papers. And I'm going to put it on kind of heavy because I want to give that a nice, kind of like a full seam. And you could just rub this rub and buff on. That's why I love rub and buff. Rocky, you're killing me, Smalls. It's just, you can't really mess up um, um, rub and buff. I do have rub and buff linked in my link tree. So you guys can go click that link tree that I did have pinned in the video description. Um, but you can find that I do have it pinned at the top of my Facebook page. It's got all my links that you always are asking about. I spend more time answering um, questions after a live. Where do you get diamond dust? Where do you get rub and buff? So I created a link tree. It's all the things all in one place and it sends you, it's a link tree. That's, and it'll send you right to all the places to where you can go and find your own diamond dust, uh, would you bend, rub and buff, and a little bit more. Comfrey is good for burn. It, it doesn't hurt anymore. Hi, Dee Dee. All right. Um, Rock, stop. Oh, Rocky, you're seriously on my last nerve. All right, I'm maybe going a little bit down at the bottom here. Just why not? Samuel! That's my kid screaming like a a crazy person because he's probably playing fantasy football or whatever it is that those boys do. All right, so I've got all the edging done. I'm going to put this back. The Rub and Buff is amazing. It's like one of my favorite products. Hold on while I let the dog out again. Go. Oh my gosh, he's so annoying. I'm at burn. Um, yay, Peggy. All right, so I think we're done, guys. Oh, and the only thing I was going to do for bling, okay, and you guys tell me, I have this trim. I have Aurora Boreal, or I have like the, can you guys see? No, it did see that glare. So see, I have, I have silver, or I have Aurora Boreal. Oh, for the love of all that is holy. Okay, there you go. Pink or clear? I'm thinking I'm going, well, let's see. But anyway, on this, there was that little line right there, right? I just want to see what it looks like. I don't know if I'm going to like it. Brick. It's my brick. It's got paint on it. He steals my brick. I'm going to eat it. Thank you. Oh, these are my children. Thank you. Here. Say hi. Hi. Yeah, see? He comes into my room, steals my brick from my iPad, and then tells me it's his. No, it's not. I have proof because it has paint all over it. My necklace is... From touchstone get all janky um yeah i don't think it actually needs the trim now that i'm looking at it um yeah here i'll show you i don't think it needs it i think it if it was matching with these stripes Maybe, but I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not going to filthy. I don't think it needs it, guys. If anything, okay, just because I'm sparkle chick, let's just, oops, let's just for, Okay, hold on, hold on a second, y'all. I got it. You can do this. Okay. Okay, now you tell me. The only thing I would put bling on it, okay, is I would not, I would not hesitate. I don't like the bling trim, but... 
I would gladly put a big Totally Dazzle gem right in the center on both sides over here, just because I'm the sparkle chicken I have to. Or I have this really cute little Santa Claus gem, which you could put, mm, no, not that. I've got this cute little candy cane. You can do that like right up here um, in his holly. That's cute. You know, you could put it like right over here somewhere in the, like, um, up in the corner. Okay, I'm not, I kind of like the candy cane. I think I'm going to add a candy cane. Yes, for an iPad, Dee Dee, yes. Or, I don't even know if I like this, to be honest with y'all. Let me see what it looks like over here. I don't think it needs anything on the sides, but I kind of do like, I kind of do like this little candy cane up here, um, right in between this little banner that says Merry Christmas. Um, I think I got this at Walmart. I'm just going to put it up there because, you know, I'm the sparkle chick and I'm going to use my new Sure Bonder. I am recently partnering up with Sure Bonder Glue. Guys, how amazing. I love Sure Bonder. They reached out to me. Um, and they sent me some glue guns. And this is their cordless glue gun. And let's find out um, if it squeaks. <laughs> Who wants to find out if it squeaks? I'm just going to use some. And guys, tomorrow I'm going to be doing a fast play video on some Sure Bonder glue. They sent me colored glue, guys. It's amazing. I want to make some candle pins. I'm going to be making some candle pins that look like snowflakes with colored glue. And so you better watch out for that fast play tomorrow. Hello, Lissa. Yes, the candy cane genie. Love it. Absolutely stinking love it. Guys, it is complete. I am seriously obsessed with this. I think it's way cuter than what I initially pictured in my brain. Digital Deco Designs. Look at that little cute little candy cane up in the corner on both in between the holly. Love it. Little whimsy, little Mackenzie Child. And then again, this is Decoupage Queen, Decoupage Queen, Decoupage Queen. Digital Deco Designs. My friend Catherine Savage. Um, how does the knife box sit in your kitchen? Right now I have it sitting on my kitchen counter. Um, and I, I have one down there already. It's black. So I think that's going to be a goner. I think that's going to get painted and we're going to do something else because I think this is going to be my Christmas one. I think we're going to need one that's all, you know, all season. Put it on the front of the butcher's block right below where the other knights. Well, that's how I did it. I put it on the front because so my butcher block sits like this. So kind of like my computer is in front of me over here and it just kind of sits in the kitchen like this. But it's so adorable, y'all. I'll look at it every day when I'm working on my computer. Little gold rub and buff. See how we did that off to finish those sides? Um, guys, I stinking love this so much. Thank you, Decoupage Queen. Thank you, Catherine Salvage. Look at how stinking cute. And you guys can't beat that Santa. Love it. And I think this was from Walmart. So I'll take a picture of you for you guys tomorrow. Uh, where is your cross? I am not wearing it. I have been been trying to like step outside my comfort zone and wear like some more jewelry. Uh, and I, I I was always wearing like the same necklace, so you know, I kind of like once in a while. I had it on all weekend, and I was like, today I changed it, and I was like, all right, I'll put some. I did a live in my private group. Wanted to look nice, and I guys, I was a total slug on Monday. I never even got out of my pajamas when I did the live over in Sparkle Room. Literally, I never got out of my pajamas. I didn't even go to my mom's. I went there yesterday. I was a slug and a half, seriously. Um, and it felt really good. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to make sure all my power's off. And um, guys, you have a fantastic evening. Um, tomorrow, I think I'm going to go live um, in the Goodwill. If I do go to the Goodwill with Taylor, I will come on live and show you uh, the other Goodwill in Chardon. Um Linda, I sealed it with Mod Podge, so it's sealed. Um, you could give it, if I wanted it to be shinier, 
like have a shiny finish, I could give it a Dura Clear Triple Thick mixture, but I kind of like it more muted because it's kind of vintagey looking. I don't want it real shiny, but the Mod Podge seals it, so it's perfect. Yes, Scotty, I will for sure. Yes. Yep. You guys are awesome. Thank you, my peeps, for being here. I will see you tomorrow. I'm really sure whether Taylor goes with me or not, I'm going to go to the Goodwill tomorrow. Um, and then I'm going to come back. I need a couple more things for my tables in my living room, Christmas related. Um, so um, I want to go there and just scope out the aisles. And Hobby Lobby is like picked over y'all. Their Christmas stuff is already gone. It's already gone. Everything's gone. They're already bringing out spring stuff. So I, I yeah, it's crazy. Rule I have no idea. Um, I got some paperwork and stuff to do in the morning, so probably later afternoon. No, not too late. 12-ish, maybe, Eastern. And then don't forget, for people who are in my Royal Sparkle Chicks, my private group, tomorrow night, 7 p.m. Eastern, Justin from The Crafty Brother will be on with us. I'm so excited. Um, you guys have an awesome night. God bless you all. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. And I will catch you guys tomorrow. Love you all.